Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, the Queen. Welcome back to my channel. So today, you know, I thought I'd just do something really basic. And, um, I have something that was never allowed in middle school. Um, this will be gum. And let, let's, just, let's just jump right into this. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my makeup like I did in middle school. Um, I am now a high school freshman. So really, it wasn't that long ago. But, like, I'm talking, like, how I was doing it in 7th grade. Because, um... I never really got the time to practice my skills because it was literally, I only had a few products at the time and, um, you know, I only had a few tools like, let me find the other brush. So these four Mary Kay brushes were all that I had. And, like, that was literally it. So a teacher bought me these actually and I, will, I, I really cherish them. I still use this one the most out of all the brushes, but this is going to be how I did my makeup in middle school, because why not? Alright, so a quick disclaimer, I don't have the same products I had at the time, um, apart from, uh, like, two things. Um, so I'm going to do my best to recreate this, but keep it looking as professional as possible, and I honestly never thought you guys would see me without makeup on. So first, I did not have the opportunity to put my hair back, so we're not going to be doing that today. Um, and I have this e.l.f. foundation. Ugh, this is going to feel disgusting. I had to put it on with my hands. So I'm going to have a quick makeup wipe um, on standby because I hate the feeling of foundation on my hand. It just doesn't feel good to me. Ugh. Jesus. It I don't want it on my skin without primer. I didn't own a primer in middle school. So I just do this. Literally that. And then I just take it. This isn't working with my fingers. But this is what I did every morning. Just gonna, this is honestly disgusting. I hate myself right now for doing this. Um... This formula really isn't the best to be using your fingers with. This formula is literally, like, it would be so much better with a, <laughs> where was I going with this? Right. It would be ten times better with a, at least a brush. I think it's a sponge works best, but that's just my opinion. So this isn't necessarily going on like it used to, because it is not the same foundation. I used to have the CoverGirl. Oh, I forgot the name of it. I'm not going to waste my time and Google it, though. But it was a really good foundation. Especially for me, being the most unskilled person ever at the time. This was 7th grade. I really stepped up when I was in 8th grade. Um, Like, I'm doing my makeup routine, how I did at the end of 7th grade, <laughs> or like the beginning of 8th grade, because this teacher would just like let me do my makeup in her room, in her classroom, like during, um, it was like a study hall, or whatever, and she would let me come in there and do my makeup, which I thought was fantastic, I wish I was better at it at the time, but I only had like 20 minutes to get ready, so you know, that was me. So once we have a full line, uh, I used to take my brush and I would just, so this was like my only professional moment. I don't even use this brush anymore because I have like four different blush brushes, like you want to be honest. And I just would take it to make sure it got everywhere. And I actually did not have a mirror, but today I'm using a mirror. At the time I just had my phone camera and I'd just get ready with that. And uh, when I got grounded... I just used someone else's phone, I would ask. I'd be like, hey, can I borrow your phone so I can do my makeup? And they were always cool about it. They'd be like, yeah, sure. So, um, a lot of other different people <laughs> really helped me with that. Okay, so once your foundation sufficiently still looks crappy, I didn't have concealer. 
I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what my next step was. All the time, it was just blush. So my next step would always be a blush. This. This blush is not the same blush I had. I had an LA Colors blush, which I live for LA Colors. Um, they have some pretty good products. They have some, yeah. But it's a very cheap brand, you know? Um, like, uh, most of their stuff is carried in the Dollar Tree, so. But normally when I do my nails, it's some of their products. So, yeah. They have cheap but efficient stuff. So once we have the blush on this, I'm just gonna... Get it, make my cheeks look as clowny as possible. I used to really pack it on. I liked clown cheeks, kind of. I really like pink cheeks, but this brush just really didn't let me, you know, get the most efficient lines. Even I have when I had other brushes, it really still looked clowny. Right now, I'm just going to blend it back. So it's not looking horrible, it still looks like a clown, like, oh, that's a clown, that's clown shit. <laughs> so my next step would always be highlighter, um, I had a, I had a Maybelline, um, jelly highlighter, I didn't know how to use, so I literally dunked this in, but sadly I don't have that on me, so I'm just gonna use... This is highlighter. I'm just gonna use all the colors, kind of like going around. And I literally put that right on top of the blush every time. And I still looked horrible half the time because it was such a pigmented one pan. I'm gonna actually go grab it. Um, I don't have it, but I didn't. <sighs> this is kind of embarrassing. So I had a really good highlighter it was a wet and wild one that my aunt got for me that i was using at the time and i ran out so i melted it down because i couldn't afford it now i can kind of it's only like five bucks but at the time i really couldn't afford that so let me just go grab the container and the highlighter and i'm just gonna try to spruce this is the wet and wild highlighter i was telling you about um this was maybelline's master chrome uh, you can clearly tell, um, I still use it. Sometimes I just like to dip my finger in and just do a quick, just for an extra glow. But at the time, I just dunked the, the brush in. Just. Now, I'm obviously not going to get the same amount of product as I did, because this isn't jelly. This is literally cream that I melted. But I'm just going to put it right on top of the blush. You know how, like, there are all those YouTubers that are like, how I used to do my makeup in high school? I actually do my makeup kind of, like, as professional as they do now. Um, I really have spent some time working on my look. And I became that, just that one. I'm a, just, I'm a beauty guru, what can I say? I'm just gonna throw this down, because I really don't use it that much anymore. Um, my next would be eyeshadow. This is one of the eyeshadows I have, which is... It's colors. I have another LA Colors eyeshadow though that I did use in seventh grade, and I used some of this in seventh grade. So I figured I'd just use this because I really sucked when I was using it, and now I used my Morphe palette. So I figured I'd just give this one one more chance because it's it was not necessarily palette's fault. It's just I was a trashy makeup artist. I was really bad at doing makeup. I called myself a makeup artist. I'm not licensed yet. I had no eye primer, so I just put my foundation on my eyes. Um, and what I'd always try to do is I take this red shade here. This isn't vegan either, which is a bit of a problem for me. Um, now, at the time, I was just like, ooh, red eyeshadow, I want that. And now with my actual, like, professional skills, like, I'm talking, I do my makeup better than some high, um, college people, my aunt. When she's at a bar, she'll show my stuff to the girls there, and they'll be like, I wish I could do my makeup that well. Like, she literally records it because I have family members that send, give me some hate um, for doing makeup. So she does that to really encourage me. 
And, like, you can literally tell it's their honest reaction, too. But, yeah. This is how I would do, like, eyes. I would take this black shade here. And this brush. What? I know there's going to be, like, a ton of fallout. Um, but at the time, I didn't know that's what it was. So, I'm just going to and pack it on. I never used this palette for what it was made for. This was made for smoky eyes. And that's not what I would ever use it for. I'd use it just to look interesting. Which, now using it, I look like the biggest professional. Like, you should have seen me for my clown days. I deleted all those pictures because I actually thought I was really good at the time. Uh, now I realize that I was literal garbage. So with this brush, it doesn't hold pigment well, so if you just see that, um, that's literally my only problem with this. And it's not even the palette's fault, it's literally the brush. Yes. So it doesn't really look bad, but I had this black shimmer in here. And I knew enough to get it on my finger. It's black and purple. And it's super cool. And I would just... Pack it on. Real quick. And I'd let it kind of get to there. And just... Use my finger to blend it out. And then I'd take it under my eye. Kind of like this. So, I'd have people actually ask me if I got punched. And it was literally so true to the extent. So this eye is looking a lot better than this eye. Actually, it's a whole eye. But I didn't care. There was actually one day I had a pencil eyeliner. I drew two triangles under my eyes just to be bold. Oh, and I did correct it, by the way. I would take this and wipe the under eye because I didn't know what I was doing. So it would always leave this gray mark, but I'm a professional, so I actually do get rid of it now. Well, I'm going to get rid of it now, but just so you know, I actually did have that gray mark from Fallout and all that, and the shadow is actually really pretty. Um, I'll do a, um, a tutorial with it, because I really love that palette. But the brush that I would always use was the worst brush ever. So, T. Well, it was good at the time. I used to do a bunch of neutrals, because that was the only palette I ever had. It was this whole LA Colors 3 shade Orchard palette. Which, honestly, it was just for, like, a simple smoke. Tell I. But this is the eye look that I would always do. I'd take whatever was left on the brush, and I'd try to blend it out to give it some sort of definition. So I can't really work with the other brush, but I can always work with this one because it's like the best brush that came in the trio. I would actually take it under the eye like a whole idiot. So I'd get these lines, right? And I'd be like also wiping that off. You know how, like, most YouTubers, like, when they're like, how I did my makeup in high school? And then they, like, show it, and they're like, redo it, and it looks really good. Um, me, you're doing it now. I look like a whole clown, but it still looks good enough. You know what I mean? Um, I'm still disgusted by the fact that I didn't use any primer at all. And I'm definitely gonna wipe this off the second I'm done filming. This is literally it. Oh, I forgot to do my eyebrows. So I did do my eyebrows, but I didn't use them with the, do an eye. I didn't use an eyebrow brush when I would do it, and I didn't clean this off either. So let me just open this contour. I have a hard time opening these packages just sometimes, and oh my god, ruined that. I might have to buy a whole new one, but I wouldn't clean it off, and I just go over the eyebrows to color it in. So I get this. It's really gross, really trashy eyebrow, which I thought was really good looking at the time. I was like, oh, hey, 
it's almost the exact same as my eyebrow color. Now, of course, this stuff really isn't, but uh, the palette I had at the time was an eyeshadow, the eyeshadow I used. Now, this one looks really good, but this one would always look really bad. I should have wiped it off. God, I ruined my whole contour kit. I'm going to have to buy a new one anyway, though. It's fine. But I always take more brown just to do that. And then I take the lightest shade in it, which would be just this right now. And just to lighten out the black. So I get a blonde eyebrows, basically. So this would be the eyebrows that I would have on. Um, truly tragic. But these were the brushes that I had at the time. So nothing horrible. Well, I just look like a whole clown. That's a problem. But, yeah. Oh, I also did have lipstick. I completely forgot. So, I'd have a lipstick and a lip gloss. But I don't have the same gloss I had at the time. Um, but I had this liquid lip. That I would put on. Like, a thousand layers. And this is the worst liquid lip. I think I've used. Or, no, no, no. I actually like this one. It leaves my lips feeling really dry, but at the time I just put on so many layers and I just throw it on because I didn't want to be late. So, you know, simple. And I still had my correction wipe that I'd use. Uh, one day I did go to school with foundation over my sunburn. Because I couldn't handle a sunburn. Like, at all. So I'd really overdraw my lips to try making them look really good. But it would not ever work. And I'd always wonder why. And now, like, doing it, I really do see why. Imagine passing in the hall looking like this. Do you think, Jesus, what is that kid doing? This was literally it. This would be my face for middle school. It looks really trashy, I know. Do not, don't leave me a hate comment. I already know. I look like crap in middle school. But leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment for my the next video you guys want me to see. Because I really do tailor it to you guys. Oh my god, I look like Trixie Mattel on crack. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my lord, <laughs> this is literally garbage, I hate it. Anyway, so this is the tutorial, I guess, or how I did my makeup in middle school. I will see you guys in the next one, and I love you. Bye!